Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now on this episode, as part of my making the move from Windows or Apple over to Linux, I'm going to be talking about adding fonts in Linux Mint. So if you have not seen my original video where I show you how to install VirtualBox and then install Linux Mint within VirtualBox, be sure to check out the link in the description area below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and head over to our virtual machine. And one of the things that, you know, being a long time Windows or Mac user, you are really just used to that world, you know, especially if you are a Windows user, which the majority of people are. And whenever that happens, you're kind of used to things in Windows, okay? And one of the big things that was really a surprise to me that I didn't know about when I first moved to Linux was this. When I was in uh, LibreOffice, or at the time it was called OpenOffice Writer, this is compatible with Microsoft Office. And so one of the problems I had right away was that whenever I open up a Word file in uh, OpenOffice, which is what it called at the time, I noticed that, hey, where are my Times New Roman, Georgia, or Arial fonts? I thought that was like standard on every single computer. But what you quickly learn is that those fonts are actually created by Microsoft. And they actually did have a license where they would give these fonts away um, it, back in 1996. And they've uh, since then, you know, you could get these fonts through their uh, original license back in 1996. So with that being said, when I moved over to Linux, I was really surprised that fonts were not, those fonts were not available. Okay, so I'm going to do two things today with this. I'm going to show you first how to install Microsoft fonts. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how to install new fonts you know whether it's free or whether you pay for it okay so before we begin let me talk about briefly how the whole font system works at least in Linux Mint okay so your fonts they're really stored in two areas okay so the first area is the main area meaning these are the fonts available for every single user on your Linux Mint OS okay so if you go here and then you go to file system and then you go to user share and then there should be a fonts folder right here this is where all the fonts are available for everybody that uses your operating system okay now this whole directory here your main file system your main top level that is owned by root and so um, I'm going to show you how to uh, copy files over to your root directory okay but there is another directory that fonts are stored in and the directory is actually a hidden directory so let me minimize this if you go to view show hidden or you could just do control H you'll notice that these dot uh, folder names these are actually hidden folder files and so there's things within that some of it are like configuration files some of them are additional files and in this case for the fonts there's also different font files in here as well like for example if you wanted to put new fonts just for your user account for certain programs like GIMP you would go in here this dot GIMP and then go in fonts and you would put the fonts here okay but this is not the ideal way to do it um, even though it might be a little simpler because you don't have to have permissions to put anything in here because it's under your account but the problem with doing that is that when you do that these fonts are only available for this account they're not available system-wide uh, like they would be if you actually uh, went to the um, original method of going to the root directory okay which is the preferred method however there might be times where maybe say you just want to experiment with some fonts only for a specific program only for your user account so that's what you would do you know so but just to let you know the main and the best way to do it is to put it right here okay on the directory that is available for everyone so I'm not going to be going over how to do it here for your individual directory but I just want to show people that that you can do that as well okay so let's go ahead alright so First things first, let's go ahead and go back to the whole Microsoft font thing, okay? So Microsoft fonts are not installed by default in Linux, so what you obviously have to do is you're going to have to install them, okay? So the easiest way to do that is just go to your software center, okay? So you go to menu, administration, then you go to your software manager, type in your password, and we're going to simply install the fonts, okay? 
And this will give you all the main Microsoft fonts, you know, the, your Times New Roman, your Georgia, your Arial, your Calibri, you know, fonts like that, that is common in the Microsoft Word. So if you had a Word document or a spreadsheet or anything else, whenever you bring it over to Linux through LibreOffice, then those fonts would be available to you and you would, it would look just like it would if you were on your Windows machine, okay? So one way you could do it is to type it in. You know, you could type in MS Core fonts and that's actually the name of it okay and then you see MS core fonts okay but also an easier way is that you'll notice there's a second here for fonts right there and the very first one is MS core fonts okay so this is what you're going to install so you just double click on it and see it's going to install all these fonts you know and all these fonts are what you want you know so then you could have the compatibility okay so let's go ahead and install this open up LibreOffice Writer again and voila what you notice is you got Microsoft fonts Arial, uh, Courier, uh, Georgia, Impact and of course uh, the ubiquitous Times New Roman it should be down here as well there it is and so now you have Microsoft fonts so that's the first set of fonts that you should definitely install okay now let's go ahead and talk about installing new fonts okay so my favorite place to get fonts is the font.com okay so these are pretty much free but you could also you know pay for fonts as well but the method of adding these fonts to your Linux Mint operating system is exactly the same okay so I'm gonna download shave the whales and punk type okay that's a pretty funny name okay I like this name shave the whales that's really funny okay so I downloaded that one Go ahead and download this one as well. Okay. Okay, so go to the downloads folder. And there are the folders. And so you're gonna have to extract these zip files. So I'm gonna right click on my mouse, extract here, and it should be a folder. Same with the shave the whales. Boy, I really love that name. That's a cool name. And then if you actually go inside the font folder, these are the actual fonts. Okay so you want to copy these folders over to the root directory under user share fonts okay but before you do that you need root permissions uh, to actually copy or paste or do any type of edits in these folders so how you do that is you'll go back up one level to user share and this is the easiest method in my opinion you could do this through command line as well but i think this is the easiest method for new people in linux you know so all you have to do is the folder that you want permissions on just right click on it and then open this root okay then you put in your password and obviously it's gonna look a little different now so now you're gonna be able to add edit delete whatever you want inside this directory because now you have some root permission privileges so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply select these two copy and then just paste them right here okay so with that being said now if we open Libre Office Writer again, we should see these new fonts. So there was the punk one. Okay, should be down here. All right, and let's make sure this looks as punk cool as I think it would be. Yes. And then secondly, we should have gotten shave the whales because I'm gonna use that font now that I've seen it that's such a cool one ah, it's not as cool as a font as I thought it would be but I just love the name all right I love me some whales <laughs> so as you could clearly see there I added two new fonts and these are available to everybody using this Linux Mint operating system and so that's really it for this episode. I just wanted to quickly go over how you can install Microsoft fonts and also install new fonts very quickly and very easily. So if you had any other thoughts or maybe you had different ways of installing new fonts, be sure to leave them in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors all that information is in the description area below thanks for watching see you in another episode thanks for checking out this episode 
And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.